Uh, welcome viewers. Uh, welcome you to our YouTube channel, Buzibuera Charity Green Acres Farm Initiative Uganda. Uh, me, I act as a manager uh, in this farm. So I'm here to give you a hint of the most common diseases which affect goats and their treatment. So uh, from there, I want to start with the most common disease which normally affects the babies, mostly the babies, because getting a goat coming to this level starts from its youngness. Mm. So they have the most common disease which normally affect babies is the tetanus problem. That the tetanus problem normally affects babies mostly when it is for one to a week period there. So there you have to be so keen and so intelligent. If you see a baby not breastfeeding well, if you see a baby the skin is not looking well, if you see it is not having energy of standing well, there and then you have to oh, that no now my animals has already first problem. What you have to do, you have to get the the drug which we call the intrafabitrel. But for the younger ones, mostly one and a half week, we give one meal, you don't exceed that. Then that problem will be run away there and then. So from there, uh, we are going to look around like uh, like uh, five, six common diseases which normally uh, affect goats. So from there, I first I first give a link from tetanus. So we have a sore mouth problem. That one normally affect goats even this size. That size, so I've just entered the browsing like that one you are seeing there, those ones there, this one, like this box you are seeing here. So, a so amount of problem normally comes from the dues. That's why we normally encourage people uh, not to take their votes early in the morning for browsing when the dues is still there on the grass. Why? Because it will, if, if a goat eats grass when the dews is still there, it normally gets swollen in the mouth. I think others have ever seen that. So from there, you have to spot it faster due to our breed, savanna, even in, uh, East, the short East African. If you spot that problem with an animal, they are then you have to give the drug. So the drug we normally, we normally use there, uh, we can, you can give a penalty, but the meal is it depends on the weight of the goat. And you can see like this one, like this bath, like this bath you are seeing here. This one you can give like a three meals if you have experienced that problem. So like these young ones, these ones here, this one, this one you can give like two meals. That is plastic glass. Uh, so from there, uh, we have another common, a common disease, which is the urinary culture. That one, if you spot a goat, when it has started passing out a pale yellow urine, they are the drain, you have to spot that in, you know, my animal maybe has I started developing some problem into the other or so into the girl brother. They are the you have to get drugs, then you give your animal and looks nice like this one who are seeing it. You see you look like this one. So okay, they play beautiful. So the drug that they are we use for that for that uh urinary culture, you normally give the high test. So that drug works very well, but also you have to give depend you have to give a meal depending to the weight of a goat. Yes, you don't the meal you give this one, you don't give to that size. So uh from there, from there we are going to another problem. That is a uh, beginner's toxemia. That problem is where we consider even abortionists. So abortionists also normally disturb goats. How do you administer? How do you how do you how do you infer that now my goat, which has already conceived, most uh, abortion normally disturb animals or goats when it's for two, three to four months there. So how do you uh, how do you inquire that now, or how do you monitor that now? My God, I started getting problem of what of abortion, of abortion. 
one, the goat which is already consumed, which is in the, when the beginner says go free to come out, the free udus don't normally come south into the valley. So if you see some free udus, free udus coming out from the valley, when the goats, you are quite sure that that pregnancy is for four to three months, exactly, there you have that no, that no, there might be a problem in my goat. And there and then you have to get uh, a medicine and you give. And I, I normally, we normally administer due to that problem, you normally give the gentamycin. That gentamycin is one which you can administer into that animal, but there, as it is already a uh, big nun, the most meals we get after uh, inquiring that problem is three meals. But also it depends the weight. You know, giving treatments also sometimes depends the weight of the animal. Because I don't, even all animals, they don't breed the same size. You can see like that one is big, then the other one is bigger than this one. So, experience that problem, they are dead. You are adding something I three meals. If you see the weight of the animal is a bit down than this one, or that what you expect, you give to being that it is already pregnant. So that is also a common problem and disease which normally uh, affects goats. Uh, then from there we have the foot root. Foot root yes. that one normally affects uh, goats. Mostly they are down there and where they sleep. That's why hygiene, also hygiene, is so, 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 so important into the goats. Where goats sleep. You don't let your goat to sleep into stagnant urine. Yes. You have to monitor boys who go browsing. Not to browse goats into stagnant waters, mostly in the rainy season. They are... Uh, they have to be soaking, uh, monitoring boys, telling them not to browse goats into stagnant waters. Why? Because if goats normally stand into stagnant waters, and if goats normally sleep or standing into stagnant urine, it has eliminated. Most times, it is very rare for it to get a hoof problem. That is a foot rope. So, if you experience that problem, there and then you have to start the treatment. How? You can give injection if the wound has not yet been broke. But if the child has already developed the wound, you treat twice. You give injection there, you give penalty also, then you can have even a combative. If you give penalty for three days, then you monitor for four days, monitor for 14 days. 14 days, if you see there is no improvement, then you change. So that foot rope problem also uh, normally affect goats. That's why uh, we try to give you uh, advice that you don't let your animal sleep into stagnant urine, uh, being browsed into stagnant water there during rainy season. So to avoid that problem, also you have to to administer that drug I have told you. Uh, from there, we have another problem which is also common. It is a white mass of disease. That one, how do you monitor that? You know, it is very good and important when you have when you want to have a, a healthy animals like these ones. Every morning you have to come in your shed and you wake up all the goats and you see their movement. Are they moving healthy? Right? Are they? Uh, have, you, have you have you spotted the one which is weak? So that uh, quite muscle disease, you spot it depending to the movement of the goats. If you see a goat, uh, if you see a goat is, is weak, its movement is weak, then there, there and then you have to know that no, this, this my goat maybe has developed some problem of mass weakening. So there, what you have to do, you have to administer a drug also there, which can help it to put that muscles such as it comes into a proper way. Which drug can we use there? Uh, we are having like uh, two types there we can use. We can administer gentle also as a first drug. That one will give for three days. After three days, then you monitor for 14 days. Has that got changed or not? If you see uh, it has not changed, then there you change a drug and you go to 
toxin drug, toxicizing drugs. So that card drug also will give a news. I told you a drug that we give depending on the weight of the animal. We don't give drugs that now like this size, this back, as you are seeing it here. When it has developed that problem of muscle weakness. And the other one, this one you can give two meals, then the other one you can give three meals. Uh, then, like, yeah, most of, uh, most of the size we are having here, yeah, even this one, two meals there, two, three meals. So, drugs or meals, I administer you to give depending on the weight of the animal. So, from there, uh, we have another problem, uh, which is deep dandruff. Like the exercise you see, you are taking there, you are trying to protect ticks and dandruff skin. Ticks, those who are normally attack them when they are there browsing in the bush, then uh, the dandruff problem that will normally affect the skin. So as you see, like that, uh, using the no trust, no trust drug, that one is what we, norm which we normally use. There are many types, but to this breed, yeah, the most important drug for spray is the no-trust no trust drug. So that one works very well, killing ticks and even uh, freeze there in the skin, uh, down drug there in the skin. So what, what looks, looks so nice, like this or like this one, it has already been sprayed. I think you can see now uh, the weather here, uh, is, uh, the weather condition is not good, but you can see is the helicopter already we have supreme the skin and you make sure that the drug reaches inside the skin as the, you are seeing them so uh, from there the most common problem i'm ending with for now uh, is uh, intestinal probe intestinal worms that one also normally affect most what's mainly those ones who have just entered browsing or bush there which have just moved from the mothers. They normally be disturbed with those problems as they have as as they as, as that they have just been started being eating grasses, been browsing. So if you see if you spot your animal with this, such with these signs mostly, we mostly normally uh, so we normally affect them into the stomach. You see your goat is not passing out this as well. You see the goat is becoming weak. You see the stomach enlarges, yeah? like, it is, like, it is, like it is developing gases into the stomach. There and then you have to monitor. Even the skin, yeah. Those intestinal worms also so cause the skin not, not, not so cause what is not look nice. The skin not to look nice. But as you see how they look healthy, why? We do manage them in proper ways. So they are due to uh, ring worms, in the same worms, we normally use uh, the oral drugs. There, there are many types, but due to this breed, savanna breed, mostly, we normally use the aldena soap. But I do normally uh, I encourage the farmers or, and other people who are, who are also browsing goats that if you do oral dwarming this month, then next month, you need to do the injection. Mm. Yes. This month, if you do oral, which oral are meaning that you, you just uh, give it into, through the mouth, but you also give meals depending on the weight of the what? Of the animal. Then if this month you have given oral, next month I advise you to give the injection. In the injection, we normally use the pen and strip. And it helps to be frequently, you have to do one of them frequently, that do one in. And every after month, this month if you give oral, then next month you give injection, ivermectin. So there, your goat will look so nice and healthy. Like you see, I was. Don't you see? You see, animals look like you now look at that one. Why? We give them proper management. So, uh, I think viewers one, uh, I do thank you to viewers. Uh, today, we have learned about the common diseases which normally affect the goats. Uh, where we, who are they? We say gluttonous problem, so mouth problem, urinary culture, then pregnancy toxemia, food root, then your white muscle disease, ticks, 
I don't work, then the last layer is the intestinal worms. So thank you for watching, and I think I, I do request to subscribe more. Continue subscribing our channel for more videos coming. Bye bye.